readings and salutations. So in this video, I'm gonna help you fix a Samsung Galaxy Tab that's got slow performance. It could be an old one or a new one. I wanna help you fix this. So the first thing I want you to do is do a hard, uh, uh, hard reset. And that's different from a factory restore. It basically will shut down all the apps. In order to do that, what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold down, while it's on, you're gonna hold down the power button and the volume down button simultaneously at the same time. Don't let go, it'll be about 30 seconds. It'll force it down, restart it, and then see if that will uh, solve it, your answer or, or solve your problem. Next thing I want you to do is to un uninstall any unnecessary apps that you got going on. Anything down, in order to do that, let's say I wanna uninstall Facebook. I'll hold my finger down on it and I click uninstall. So go through every single one of your apps and, and uninstall any ones that are unnecessary, like the health I would take out, Netflix I don't use anymore. Uninstall them all. Go into your gallery, and then on your gallery, delete any videos or pictures that you don't want anymore, or download them onto a, a, a desktop or a laptop, and remove any pictures or videos that you don't want to store, because that's going to hurt your performance tremendously if you do that. Next thing you could do is force stop a lot of the apps. So in order to do that, go to settings. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna to go to uh, apps. These show apps, you can go by size. Or you can go by name, I'm gonna go by size. All right, click okay. And so for example, let's say I go to Bright's Objects. Click on it and then force stop it. And then if I ever want to use it in the future, I could just go back in here and enable it. You can also uninstall apps from this, and that's smart to do. So what, what I would do is I'd go by size. So TikTok, I never use. So I'm actually going to uninstall that. I'm going to go ahead and click TikTok. And actually, it won't let me uninstall it. I think it comes with the tablet. But what I want to do is uh, I already have it on force stop, but it does need to be uh, uninstalled. All right, next thing what I want you to do is uh, limit your, what, disable the auto sync for your account. So to limit the auto sync, the only thing you have to do is go to settings, account backup. All right, so in settings, we'll go into account backup. Um, where is it? Account and backup. And then what I want you to do is click on Manage Accounts on the very top there. And then in the middle of the screen, you want to see Auto Sync. Right, my, right now, my Auto Sync data is on. What I want you to do is turn it off. It says this will reduce the usage and conserve battery power. That will also help your performance if you click, if you click off Auto Sync. All right, next thing I want you to do is to do a software update. So in settings, what you're gonna do is go to software update and download and install. And then after you download and install, go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, see if that will work. Next thing what I want you to do under settings, I want you to go to general management. I want you to click reset. And then I want you to reset all settings, restart and then see if that will fix your issue. Another thing you can do is in settings, you can go to battery. Let's see, I think it's under battery. Well, actually, let's go to display first. You can reduce the brightness, which will help. In the screen timeout, you can reduce the time to like a minute instead of five minutes. You might find that that will help the performance because it'll give the, the battery power more of a rest if you go to battery. Um, Again, it shows what's using the most battery, which will take up, which will hurt performance. Right now, Cookie Jam is using the most. And then finally, last but not least, and I, I do this anyway, every one or two to two years after I'm using a tablet, is I'll do a factory reset. And that, make sure you have everything backed up or on a computer. And in order to do that, what we wanna do is we're gonna go to general management, we're gonna go to reset, and then we'll go factory data reset. Again, it's gonna make it fresh, like it's fresh out of the box. It'll wipe out all your apps, that, the new apps, 
and it's like a it's brand new. But let me tell you something that uh, I did this with one of my relatives tablets. It, they were ready to toss it in the trash. We did a factory reset. It was like a brand new tablet and they're all good to go and they're still using it. All right. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe.